now took on a sterner tone as the prosecution team assembled their evidence to make the charges against the Nazis stick. My first feelings about meeting Goering were, uh, frankly, feelings of a little apprehension because he had the reputation of intimidating uh, interpreters. Private Sonnenfeld, the interpreter for chief interrogator, Colonel John Amon, was a fresh-faced 22-year-old. He was also a German Jew who had fled from the Nazis. Do you, Hermann Goering, swear that what you're about to say will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Schwören Sie, Hermann Göring, die Wahrheit zu sagen, die ganze Wahrheit? Ein Augenblick, eins will ich wissen. Göring interrupted me and said, I want to know, am I before the judge? He said that in German. And Eamon said to me, he come here. He is before a judge. Listen, Private, don't let this turkey intimidate you. Straighten him out. So here I was, a private first class, face to face with Hermann Göring, who had been the highest ranking officer in the German army. And I was to straighten them out. And I remembered an old German joke that I had heard when I was a child, where Göring was referred to as Gerink, which is a German word which means poultry, little nothing. And I said to him, Herr Gering, when I speak, you don't interrupt me. When I'm finished and you have any difficulty with my language, you can tell me about it, and I will then decide whether it's worthwhile to correct it. First of all, my name is not Gering. My name is Göring. And I said, I tell you, I'll make a deal with you. If you don't interrupt me again, I will not call you Gering again. At which point he had a big smile on his face because he realized he was the chief defendant. Colonel Amon was the chief interrogator, and I was the chief interpreter, so everything was in order now. My father was one of those who was scooped up and put into a concentration camp. He went to Buchenwald, and uh, he was released. Without explanation, three weeks later, returned home, and it was a great mystery why. And uh, in our search for documentation, at the Nuremberg Trials, I came across an order from Goering that all Jews who had military decorations were to be released from concentration camp. And I said to him one day, how is it that you could get people out of concentration camps when you claim to have had no power to put them into concentration camps? And he looked at me and he said, ach oh, so. The prosecutors had unearthed a key document, and it provided a vital breakthrough. Did you have anything to do with the order for the final solution to the Jewish question? Hatten Sie etwas mit den Anweisungen für die Endlösung der Judenfrage zu tun? Natürlich nicht. Selbst Hitler wusste nichts davon. Of course not. And Neiman got Göring to deny any complicity or any knowledge. And then he had a copy of the signed order by Göring, which ordered Heydrich, the uh, chief delegate of Himmler, to proceed with the Holocaust. And he gave me the German order. Yeah. And he said, Show him that. Well, you can't expect me to remember. Goering was now on my assistant. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't expect me to remember. Well, you can't expect me to remember. Well, was now unmasked as a liar. And uh, even said to him, Well, this isn't just a piece of paper. Mm, das ist nicht nur ein this is something that Papier, resulted in the deaths of millions. Document, das den Tod von millions Don't you remember it? Muss ich mir die Unterschrift ansehen? Well, I would have to look at the signature. And when he could no longer deny the signature, it was clear that Eamon had trapped him into admitting that he had signed this order to commence the Holocaust. With this evidence implicating Goering in the Nazis' crime against the Jews, the prosecution case was ready. The 19th of October was a pivotal moment in the Nuremberg process, the day the prisoners were charged. The man selected to deliver the indictments was a British major, Airy Neve. 
set, Major? I think so, sir. Just hope I shan't make a balls of it. I doubt that very much, Major Neve. Though only 29, Neve was a wartime legend after his escape from Colditz. He was also a lawyer by profession. My guard brought Goering out first. The prosecution team saw him as their number one criminal. Hermann Wilhelm Goering. Hermann Wilhelm Goering. I am Major Neve, Major Neve, the officer yeah, appointed by the International Military Tribunal to serve upon your copy of the indictment in which you are named as defendant. You are hereby accused as guilty of crimes against peace, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and of a common plan or conspiracy to commit those crimes, all as defined in the Charter of the Tribunal. So it's in as defendants, When the indictments were read to the prisoners, their status changed from witnesses to defendants. They would now stand trial for their lives. Do you have any questions? Haben Sie noch Fragen? Keine Fragen. No questions. Die Sieger werden immer die Richter sein. The victors will always be the judges. Die Angeklagten immer die Verlierer. And the vanquished the accused. Ich habe jetzt einen guten Übersetzer nötiger als einen guten Anwalt. And that was the first time that it became clear to me that Goering had decided to conduct his own defense. He was now taking charge of his destiny.